Okay, hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to run Sega 32X and Sega CD emulators on RetroArch. So the first thing you'll need are the BIOS files. You'll need the Sega CD BIOS files, and you'll need a Sega you'll need a Sega 32X BIOS files. So Sega CD BIOS files are in this in these names. You could find them, and um, this is for the European region, this is for the US region, this is for the Japan region, and you will need the Sega 32X files, BIOS files as well, and after you get them, uh, you go to your RetroArch folder, which is there for me and you just put all the BIOS files in the systems folder and that's all you have to do and the next thing you want to do is you want to go into you want to create a folder for your Sega 32X ROMs and your Sega CD ISO files so this is for my Sega 32X. This is where I put all my files in there. And this is for my Sega CD ISO files. And you have to unzip them all before you put them in here. That's the only trick. Looks like I made a mistake here. This is not, that doesn't belong in there. So all the Sega 32X files should be, it should not be 100 megabytes or anything like that. It should be like anywhere from one megabyte to maybe five megabytes. The ISO files are a lot bigger. They could be anywhere from 250 megabytes to 640 megabytes which you can see here and some of them have multiple disks like Fahrenheit so now you have to start the RetroArch emulator okay now I started RetroArch the first thing I want to do, if you want to run it in full screen, it's Control F. But uh, I'm having problems recording this with my DVR using full screen for some reason. So I'm I'm going to be recording it with a uh, with full screen off, basically. But if you want full screen on, it's Control and F. So the first thing you want to do is load the core. I'm going to download and load the core basically. So you need two of them. Actually, just one. One emulator will run both Sega 32X and Sega CD. And it will also run Sega Genesis and Sega Master System as well. And that emulator is called Pico Drive. You just download it and install it. And the next thing you want to do is you want to import the files. Go to scan directory. I'm going to go back to my Sega 32X folder and scan this directory. Okay, that's that was for my Sega 32X. Now I'm going to scan for Sega CD. Scan this directory. This could take a couple of minutes, so I'm going to fast forward through. Okay, so my Sega CD was scanned. So they should all appear here Sega 32X, Sega CD, or it's also called Mega Drive CD. So I'm going to run the emulator. 
gonna run this one. Sega! Get ready. Okay, that ran, so let me close that. Let's uh, save a CD now. Like Pico Drive. Okay, Captain. Let's knock him out of New York. Head up! Okay, Captain. Let's knock him out of New York. Okay, that ran. Try this one. That ran also. I think that's enough. So, anyways, uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.